Hello everyone, welcome to my Excel in 5 minutes series. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some shortcuts in Excel to make your work more efficient. So the very first shortcut that I'm going to be sharing with you is how you can easily move around your data. So pressing the control and the arrow key helps you to navigate from one extreme end of the data to the other. So let's say I'm currently here and I want to move to the last row of the data. All I need to do is to press the control key and the down arrow key and here I am. I can move back up. And if I also want to move to the extreme right, I can also press the control key and the right arrow key. Moving back, control key and the left arrow key. So if I want to also select, all I need to do is to add the shift button to the control and the arrow keys. Remember, I had the shift button. So control shift and to the down arrow, I'm selecting the entire column. Now, if I want to select the entire data, all I need to do is after doing this press still holding my control and my shift key press the right arrow button and now i have my entire data selected so this can be very very helpful when you have a very large data set and you don't have to be scrolling all the way down to select or to do any other thing that you want to do so the next um the next shortcut that i'm going to be sharing is um, how you can turn a cell reference to a constant cell reference from a relative one. So what do I mean? For instance, let's say you want to get a percentage of these data from their total. This is the total here, which is calculated using the sum function. So we all know that the formula to do that is just to divide these by the total. And then we can have our percentage format it in the percentage and you have our percentage now dragging this down it gives us a div of zero because it tries to extract the next value here which is empty we want this particular reference in, in this formula to be constant so how do we do that the normal way is to add the dollar sign the row and the column and we have this and dragging this down we have our we have our values using this constant cell. So now, how do I do this using the Excel shortcut? So if I do not want to do this, and I want to go back using this, so Excel has the shortcuts that helps you to make this easy instead of you looking for where you're going to put in your dollar sign and moving your cursor here and there. You can easily press the F4 button. Remember, F4 button. You can do this anywhere within the um, the cell that you want to make constant so pressing the f4 that automatically gave me this so pressing it once more will give you a row constant kind of value you have your j there's no dollar sign there then you have your 90 the dollar sign there pressing it once again will give you your column constant kind of referencing and pressing it once again returns it to its normal states so once I press it like this, and then I can just come, sorry. Okay, once I press it, it's already there. Once I'm done, I can just drag down my formula. I'm very good. Now, another short course that I'd like to show you is how you can easily generate your serial number. So Excel has this function that helps you to recognize patterns in your data and help you to replicate it so let's say i want to do a serial number for this data instead of me going through this with the stress of going one two all the way excel can easily recognize this pattern by just grabbing these two cells it's already recognized that i'm having one year and two year so i can easily drag this all the way down and it automatically fills it in with its serial number so that will be all for today thank you very much for watching this video today and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on this video also please share for your friends if you find this video helpful thank you